What's up everybody, it's Andrew with Uni Programmer, and in today's video we're going to be doing a requested video and it's about how to create a random string. So in order to create a random string what we're going to want to do is use the random class to generate characters that we have set and then we're going to have that create a string. So the first thing we want to do is import the random class and that's in the utilities util.random and then we're gonna list the characters that we want to use for this so we need to make a string call it characters and we're gonna set it to whatever characters that we want accessible for making this random string. Now, I am gonna use capital A through capital Z because I want it to be the full alphabet and I want just capitals. Now, if you wanted lowercase, you could have lowercase as well and just add that in there so you could do lowercase a through z and then just followed by capital a through z but for this example i'm just going to do capital a through z all right so we have our characters that we're going to use and then we need to have an empty string so we're going to do another string variable and we'll call this random string since that's what we're making and we'll just set it to an empty string so we have our characters we have our random string that we're going to make now we need to make our uh, random object. So we're going to instantiate that. Now remember, that's just um, called the random class. Name your object. I, I like to use rand. And then set it to new random with nothing in the arguments. That's just creating your random object. And we'll use that later. And then we need to have the length set for how long we want the word to be the random string that we're making. So for this example, I'm just going to make the length um, five characters long. So it'll just be five characters long for our random string. All right, now that we have all that, I'm, and I'm gonna put this link up here just to keep our variables together. All right, so in order to um, get these characters all together and bunched up so we can access them later, we're actually gonna use an array, and we're gonna use a character array. So to create an array, you're gonna type character, which is the type, and then you're gonna use the two square brackets, and that's for array and we're gonna name it, we're, we'll just name it text, and then we're gonna set it to new character array. And then inside of it, inside right here, is where you put the size of the array. So how many elements you want in it. And since this is where we're gonna store our word, so we're gonna use length, since that's gonna be the length of our word, so we'll just put length in there. All right, now we have an empty um, array of characters, and that array's name is text, and it's five spaces long. It's, it, it can hold five different values. All right, now, now that we have that, we're gonna need a for loop that we're gonna add each individual random character to the array that we just created, to each index. So, for the for loop, we have for and then our conditions. So we're gonna initialize our i, set that to zero. And then as long as i is less than, and we know how long it's gonna be, it's gonna be the length right here. So we can use that. And then we wanna increment our i. So that's our for loop. And then what we're gonna do inside this for loop is we're gonna um, set the characters for each array. 
And this will make sense in a second. So we're going to call our array and our index of i, and we're going to set it to characters, which is our, our letters up here. Characters dot care at and then this is where we pick where what index we're going to decide so like how this would be described is java um, the index is start at zero so this would be index zero the b would be one the c would be two the d would be three so and it goes all the way up and then the z would be index 25 so for index character at index what we want to do is have this is where we're going to use our random object so we have rand dot next int and then remember how the random works um, the argument that goes in the parameter of the the rand dot next int and you'll see it says bound so it basically means like the max so it's going to create a random number from zero to whatever you put the bound at, but not including the bound. So if we had 25 in the bound, it would create random whole numbers from 0 to 24, basically. And our bound is going to be restricted by how many characters we have in this right here. So we know it's the alphabet, so it has 26 characters. So we could put 26, but one, one thing that we can do is just call our characters, our string, and then just have length. So that, that is going to be 26. That's what that's going to do. So instead of putting 26 at the bound, we just called the string and then had length. And what that does is it, it exactly represents the same number. All right. So now that we had the random letters added to our array, this is where we're going to create our string. Because an array isn't a string, an array is just indexes of values. So we're going to turn those indexes into one string. So we're going to get another for loop here. Set i to 0. And then what we want to do here is as long as i is less than text.length, we want to increment i. And the whole point of this for loop is to add those characters from the array to our string. So remember we created this random string right here? So we're going to go random string. One second. Right here, don't forget to put your data type. All right, so we have random string we're going to say plus equals text an array of that index, which is i. And then finally, what we're going to do is display it. And we can just system.out, get rid of that. We're going to display our random string. All right, so let's go ahead and test that out. I'm going to click Run here. And there you have it. So you have our random string, which is five characters long, because we set the length up here, and it's W M D B N. And then I'm just going to press Run again. And you'll see it'll just keep on generating random strings like that. And like so. Um, these characters that we have up here, you could have lowercase characters, you could have capitals, numbers, it's whatever that you want to pull from to create your random string. Now you're saying, okay, so that's good for com or for making a word that's five. See how each one is five letters long each time, five characters. So another option that you could do is have it create a random length. So let's comment that out and what we could also do is have our length 
And we can set that using our random object again. Let me put that after our object was created here. And here, what you can do is have it create a random integer which will declare the size of your word. And remember, we set the, the bound here. So let's say up to, up to 15, but not including 15. So it'll create a random word that is all the way from 0 to 14 letters long. And we'll run that again. And you'll see that each string, each random string that we create is a different length because it's actually getting its length from the random generator. So it's going to be random characters of this with a random length of 0 to 14. All right. So I'll go over it just to show you how that's working again. I'm going to comment that out. Okay, so basically what we did here was we created a random string. We imported our random class, and then our string characters, it's going to be the characters that we want to use to create a random string. And then we created an empty string called random string, which is what we filled with our characters later. Our length, which is the length of the, the string that we're creating, you can set that to any number, or like I showed down here, you can have it pick a random length. Here we had the character array, and we named it text. And the reason we needed that array is because we are going to fill that, fill that array with random characters. And that's what we did in, the, in this first for loop. So what this for loop is going to go through, it's going to go through each element of that array, and then it's going to put a random character that it selected from here into it. And that's why it's saying right here. So text of the array at index i, so right there it would be the first index, equals characters, so it's calling this, dot care at, which means character at an index. And then this is the index that you choose. And right here, we created a random number. So it's picking the index at random and then adding that to the characters and then adding that to our array. So that's how it's picking it. So it's picking a random character out of that string right here and then setting it to the array, setting that value. And then once that for loop is done, our array is filled. We move on to this for loop. And all we do here is fill, remember we created this empty string right here called random string. And then it's just going through the text array. And it's just adding each character one by one to random string until the array is done. And then at the end, all we did was display random string. All right, so I hope that helped figure out how to create a random string. Once again, this is Andrew with Uni Programmer, and hope you enjoyed that video.